My name is Dr. Wambwe Wanyoike and I'm a consultant pediatrician. Seizures are a sign and symptom of abnormal brain activity. They're very worrisome to parents and also the individuals around. Sometimes it may just present as a loss of certain uh, tone in the muscle and a patient suddenly collapses. We may have jacking kind of movements of the hands and the feet with rolling of the eyes, foaming of the mouth and a patient unconscious. So in such a situation, what should you do? The first thing to do is stay calm. Then note the time of the seizure beginning and position the patient in a left natural position. This is to prevent the baby or the patient from choking on any vomitus or anything that may be in the mouth. Avoid putting any objects in the patient's mouth. Remove any tight clothing that they may have and avoid overcrowding over the area. Stay with the patient throughout the seizure period. Avoid anything that may be harmful to the patient. Remove any sharp objects or any hot objects or water that may have pulled around the patient. You may even put something below the head to avoid injuring of the head. If the seizure is a prolonged seizure, something we call status epilepticus, call for help and rush the patient to the nearest facility. Remember to stay with the patient throughout the seizure. Remove any items, sharp, hot items, or a pool of water that may be near the patient to avoid any further injury. You may also put something soft under the head to cushion the head from injury during the seizure. If the seizure prolongs, call out for help, but remain with the patient as you wait for medical help to arrive. Remove any tight clothing that the patient may have and avoid crowding around the patient so that they may be able to breathe adequately.